Good morning. 6, 10 in the morning. Zero MK 194. An hour away from your next chance at a bag. It's 710 and 194's Pick Your Purses. We pull a TRQ. A totally random question out of our box of... Well, totally random questions. And today's TRQ. What is the strangest thing someone has ever stolen from you? Are you ever pretty sure that somebody jacked something of yours and you're like, why did you take that? That's kind of random. You ever have someone steal something weird from you, Amy Kay? Yes, and I bought this during COVID, and it makes me so mad because I thought it was funny. I wasn't using it to test myself to see if I was able to drive. I wasn't going anywhere. But during COVID, I bought like a mini keychain breathalyzer. I remember that, yeah. And if people were at my apartment, we would just... Because I became friends with everyone in my apartment. We all lived in the same building. We would all go from apartment to apartment, share some drinks, and then we would try out the breathalyzer. Someone stole the breathalyzer. It's a really random thing to steal. Yeah, I agree. And I have all the pieces, the mouthpieces, because we would swap them out. They're stuck with the one mouthpiece. Give me my breathalyzer back. Well, I don't know if you want it back now. That is true. I doubt I want it back. I bought a new one. I don't even know if I know where that other one is. <sighs> so we stole that one, too? Probably. probably. Well, at least you don't need it right now. But eventually, you'll need it again. That is true. I mean, I don't need it. I don't test myself. But it was just a fun thing. It came up. On my Facebook or Instagram, who knows where, I bought it off social media because I thought it was funny. Listen, I don't know if it's a more Amy K thing that you owned a breathalyzer or a more Amy K thing that you're like, everybody try my breathalyzer. <laughs> Why? We all thought it was funny. We would have mimosas. We would see, oh, where am I at with three mimosas? Yeah. Can we also point out that you said you bought it during the pandemic? So the height of the pandemic, you're like, everybody Stop. try my breathalyzer. God. <laughs> Everybody else has face masks on, staying six feet apart, washing hands, using sanitizer to kingdom come. But no, Amy's out there like, suck on this. Alcohol kills the germs. (laughs) You were part of the problem. Listen, I never, I didn't get COVID for a long time. Shockingly, that's true. And everyone thought I was going to be the first to get it. I, you were the talk of the office right when this thing heated no up. No one liked me. And everybody was pretty universally like, this is kind of freaky. We don't want to be part of this. Everybody was like, we got to, Amy can't come to work. I know. No one wanted to be around me. <laughs> I got shunned. Out of here. What is that strange thing somebody stole from you? 237. It's going to give us text 35270. But don't. Just call or text 237. <laughs> In the totally random question of the 194 Morning Class, you can call or text 237. It's what is the strangest thing someone has stolen from me? We are seeing some weird things people jacked. Yeah, someone said my cat. I had a party. Someone stole my cat. I did end up getting Why? him back. But still, I was freaking out for a few hours. And someone else said not a physical item. But I pay for a reserved underground parking spot at my apartment, and someone constantly starts or started parking there. I've had to talk to my apartment management. We still can't figure out who it is. It's not every day. It's just random. And someone else said my left shoe. Someone stole my left shoe from a pair I left outside my door. Uh, it's really random. Why would you not just take the whole thing? Do you think it was a person or an animal? You know, animal would make a little bit more sense. Though if you really hated somebody, what's more annoying than stealing their pair of shoes? Stealing one Just shoe. Because that's going to haunt them. And they're not going to want to get rid of that shoe because they're like, well, maybe it'll come back to me. Maybe it's inside. Maybe I left it in my car. You're messed. That's a mind game. The cat one's pretty messed up. Can you imagine if you had a party and then you no. realized that Ziggy was just gone? The Ziggy would not allow that to happen. I'm kind of <laughs> happy he's a mean <laughs> cat. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, cutting up inside somebody's shirt. I would cry. That would, uh, that's so mean. Yeah, something just really odd somebody stole from you? Okay, well, first let me tell you how I'm part of this Facebook group, and we we sell things all the time, and I've been doing it for months, months, months. And, you know, we just leave it on our driveway, what, mm-hmm. what we're going to sell and stuff like that. Well, I I had the bag out, and it was on my driveway, but the people that came thought it was the bag that I'm selling for Facebook, but what they didn't know is it's poop. It's like from my dog. Gross. It's poop from my dog. <laughs> so they took poop. My dog's poop. Well, they're in for a nasty surprise. Yes, yes. It's, it's crazy as ever, but they took the poop. They took the poop. My dog's poop. 
Yucky. They open up the bag. Let's see what we got. They're pouring it out on the counter in the kitchen. Ew. Gross. I don't think we want this. No. We've seen some more weird things they stole. Yeah, someone said when I was in high school, I had a friend staying with me, and I ended up asking her to leave, and she stole my deodorant and some socks. Borrowed or stole? Like, you're just, you're not getting, she's just keeping so. it? I think so. I assume they're not friends anymore. Um, Someone else said, my pizza off my porch. The delivery guy left it on the doorstep, and someone snatched it up before I got to it. Sam. I had the no contact delivery. Do you remember when someone stole our pumpkin spice lattes? <laughs> oh, I trust me, you don't let me forget. How did I not think of that? That made me so mad. You about killed this person, yeah. I ordered pumpkin spice lattes for zero, and I, I think breakfast sandwiches as well. It, you, it was a hefty order, yeah. I was so excited. It was probably the first day of pumpkin spice lattes. I got that notification. Our order was delivered. I went out there and there was nothing. To be fair, eventually it did come back to you. They just they got confused with Amy's in the building. So what happened was another coworker saw food that wasn't theirs <laughs> and took it, uh-huh. and they saw the name Amy K, which would be printed on the Starbucks mm-hmm, cup, mm-hmm. and thought this must be Amy Eilers from KFGO, who her name is Amy I. Let's put it in her office. Hours go by, and finally, the thief comes in the studio and said, hey, did you order Starbucks? And she has it in her hands. <laughs> oh, I was livid. You know, the real victim in this is the poor Dasher that just got lit up in <laughs> that window of time. I feel terrible. I reported him to DoorDash. Yeah, I did. assumed he stole it. I did reply back to DoorDash and said a coworker took it. I don't know if it made a difference for the DoorDash driver. His life was already over at this point. Oh. This was done. It was done. To be honest, I didn't mind my room temperature PSL. It was still pretty good. I threw mine away. Remember, I was so mad I wanted to go give it to her and say, here, eat this since you wasted my money. <laughs> Consider it a gift. Yeah. That weird thing somebody stole from you. You've been there before. Two, three, seven. It's call or text, okay? <laughs> Playhouse. The Y94 Morning Playhouse. Time about that weird thing somebody stole from you. The Y94 Morning Playhouse. Totally random question. There's so many that got texted in there. Wow. Someone said, someone came into my yard and stole my whole garden hose. It was just gone. It's a, like, and it's probably hooked to the wall, right? Like at the side of the house. So you came and you unscrewed it and just like wheeled it off. Or Why what? You take that? Uh, someone else had a half eaten birthday cake. We had my husband's birthday and had a party. The next day, the cake just disappeared from the fridge. Oh, so they took like a uh, most a cake? I think it was half eaten. Like they must have put the leftovers in the fridge and someone took the rest of the cake. It's like they looked at that and were like, man, my kids would really like this. And just like walked out of the building with a half eaten cake. Who would think that's like leftovers to take? Unless it was your birthday. I don't think that you have any business claiming no. that cake. Now, if it's your birthday, well, by all means, roll out. Take it. Take a cake. That weird thing someone stole. Oh, man. So I had a cousin that was living with me. And after a while, I started noticing that my Victoria's Secret pennies started getting missing. And let's just say I went and checked the room that she was staying in. And, yeah, I found a lot of what I was looking for in there. So she was stealing your underwear? Maybe she just wanted to, like, wear them? Maybe she just liked your underwear? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what was going on, but let's just say I also had to let her go. <laughs> if you still paying, is you'll still anything, right? Yeah, I feel like she had to just be like, I just decided these underwear are mine now. She must have thought they were cute, and it was, she's wearing them. You wouldn't want them back. No, probably not. Generally speaking, though, like a, a male panty thief, I imagine, is stealing for a very different reason. Usually, I would assume, than a female panty thief. Don't you think? Didn't she say her cousin, though? Yeah, that was a, a female cousin, so she probably just liked him. But, yeah, still, you don't want him back no matter who has him. <laughs> you wouldn't want somebody that stole your underwear to return your underwear? No, would you? No, well, I probably would not. Would you wear them? I would like to meet the person that wants to steal my <laughs> underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and just ask them some questions about why and what their motivation is and what it is about my underwear they thought that's appealing to steal. Trust me, there's better choices out there. 
Like, this election season, steal anyone else's underwear than mine. Don't vote zero <laughs> on this. Was there some more weird stolen items? Yeah, someone said, at my Lake Place, someone stole a wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow full of dirt. Someone took the dirt, but left the wheelbarrow behind. And uh, someone else said, my socks from the laundromat. It was only my socks and nothing else. Still can't figure out why. Just the socks, huh? No way did someone go through the machine and search for your socks. We got to find a pair, right? You don't want just one sock. But all the socks, I think they took. Can you imagine seeing that? Like seeing somebody rifling through, picking out just socks, and then just like leaving, leaving? putting it all back in? Or what would they do? Put in another machine so it doesn't look fishy? I don't know how you get away with stealing all the socks. I don't know. It might just be a really good practical joke. That's not bad. That's terrible. Do you ever get them back? Someday, I hope.